And when the diabetes community met with the governor and the governor said, what are the stakes if we don't get this passed before next session? The diabetes community said someone else is going to die. At times, raw emotion during a House hearing on the newest version of the Alex Smith emergency insulin bill. Named for a young man who died in 2017 while rationing his drug, his mom is Nicole Smith. We need to hold manufacturers accountable and we need to save lives. This bill would have saved Alec and it would have saved Jesse. Lawmakers also heard from the mother of Jesse Shear Radcliffe, another type 1 diabetic who died just two months ago, also rationing his medicine. Every day I deal with the pain of finding my son dead dead because he did not have the insulin he needed to keep him alive. There are two competing insulin bills. In the House bill, you get insulin from your pharmacist. In the Senate, from your doctor. The House, an immediate 30-day supply, even if your prescription has expired. The Senate, you apply through Minsure for a four-month supply. The House, drug companies pay fees to the state to foot the bill. The Senate version, drug companies would donate supplies to doctors. Our job number one is to make sure that we're not having another Minnesotan lose their life because they can't afford their insulin. One encouraging sign, four major health plans in Minnesota have agreed to cap out-of-pocket co-pays at $25 for a 30-day supply starting in 2020. It applies to all of the insulin on our formulary. It's not exclusive to any specific product. Um, it is something that we did not increase our rates for. That was Jay McLaren from Medica, one of four health uh, group uh, executives that spoke today at this hearing. Now, uh, the governor and House Democrats say that they do like parts of the Republican Senate plan, but they say they don't think it addresses those situations where somebody shows up, they need the drug right now, they're out of money, they can't afford it, they're waiting for the next paycheck, they don't have the right insurance plan. So that's kind of where we're at right now, but the work continues. Back to you. All right. Thank you, John.